welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances and I am a full-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark and eBay and The Real Real as well. And today I have a Goodwill Outlet bins haul. Um, I think I got about 100 pounds in this big contractor bag and I'm going to just kind of open and take stuff off the top and show you guys. Um, if you're unaware, the Goodwill Bins or Goodwill Outlet is a pay by the pound um, Goodwill location, and my local one is a dollar seventy nine per pound. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's just hop hop right into it. So the first item is this really cute Free People sweater, and this is a size medium, um, and it's like this oversized V neck sweater it's really cute and this is all like tucked in there <laughs> um so it is definitely oversized and it's a beautiful color uh, like a chunky knit there is a couple like little snags that i think i could just snip off um but i will note that um my dog is just going crazy today she really wants to go on a walk but it's pouring there's like a flood warning, so I'm like, she's just wild. But anyways, this sweater is really cute, and I was happy to find it because oversized sweaters like this from Free People just, they just, I feel like sell the best for me from that brand. So, had to grab that. Okay, next item off the top here is Barefoot Dreams, and this is a Cozy Chic Light, size large, which is like their really luxury, like, soft knit. Um... And this is a kind of open cardigan sweater, black, with, like, front pockets. It's really cute. Um, this, I think I can get $45 for on Poshmark and eBay. Uh, I have another one of these listed that hasn't sold yet, so I'm not sure. Actually, I think I have two of them in different colors and different sizes. Haven't sold yet, but who knows. Okay. Next, this is a J. Crew size extra small. Um, this is like a cream ivory cream open knit cardigan sweater. Um, I really do like selling J. Crew sweaters. It's like one of my favorite things from J. Crew to sell. Um, and this is like I think just 100% cotton, which is also yeah 100% yeah. cotton, which is also really good for. Um, spring summer because it's kind of like a lighter not lighter you know what I mean more breathable than wool so I had to grab that sorry about the rustling around here um I'm putting stuff in a different bag and my dog is walking all over so there's that okay this is inside out so I'm gonna show this right side out all right this is a free people we the free which i'm going to show you the tag we the free and this is a size large and by my surprise this is actually i think a dress um i thought it was like a tunic. it might be a tunic actually but it could be a dress for some depending on your height or just how you like to wear these um it's definitely oversized kind of like a soft <laughs> oversized knit pink dress thing um it is rayon and spandex so yeah good one i'm thinking 30 on that okay next is this pair of cabbie jeans um and these are size 10 there <laughs> um they're like a boyfriend style with like distressing and it's just kind of like a slim leg they came cuffed like this so you could style it like that but I'm sure it's supposed to be like that I don't know I think maybe I sold cabbie jeans like once or twice I don't really remember but this seemed like a cute style so I wanted to give that a try all right this is a Hannah Anderson size 100 centimeters um and this is a really cute little top so it's just 
pink stripes, but it has like a patch. So cute. Um, lightweight. Hannah Anderson retails for quite a bit for children's clothes. So I like to pick it up in the bins because it is really lightweight. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is actually the brand Orange Theory, which is a gym? Is that a gym? I'm not totally sure. I think it is. Or a yoga studio. I'm not totally sure. But this is their merch. And for places like Orange Theory and like um, for companies like Peloton and things like that, their merch is actually really expensive. So um, it's good to get it on the resale market. People look for it. This has a snap hood so it's um removable that's the word i was looking for um i don't know comps on this off the top of my head but i'm guessing 30 but i could be wrong it could be like more like 25 which is still worth it for me okay these my dog is chewing stuff on the floor these are a pair of we the free size 26 so that's three people um these are a what is that? There's like a rubber band with a um, clothespin on it. I don't know. We'll put that in the trash. <laughs> weird. The things that you find at the outlet. Super weird. Um, anyways, these are a pair of jeans and they're super cute with a like distressed on the front and the cuff is really cool. Has like, it's distressed but it has like this cool like, what is that? <laughs> Cross? I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. My keywords are really not doing it today. Um, yeah, these are cute. And also I wanted to mention, if you guys are interested in anything in my haul, it you can comment down below, but um, if you DM me, I'm probably more likely to see it faster. Um, so yeah, and I'll give you a really good deal on anything. All right, next is pull something out here. What is this? Okay, this is also inside out. And it is a Nike thermal. So this is a Nike running dry fit size medium. I feel like this might be men's and it's like a textured athletic running shirt. Um, the Nike dry fit like running shirts or like athletic shirts sell consistently for me for about 18 to $25. Um, and I found a couple. Here's another one. This is Nike Pro, also size medium. This is inside out though, but you get the idea. It's just black, long sleeve. And it sells consistently for me, so I, I continue to pick it up. Okay, this, <laughs> this is a weird find but this is Pendleton um new with tags but it's vintage and it's like dead stock so very vintage um and they're like the, it's like a weird skirt but it looks like pants so as you can see but they're like it's all disconnected as you can see it's like not really pants it's like a skirt don't know if that's how it's supposed to be this is what the tag looks like it is wool I don't know, size 12. <laughs> it's weird, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might send this into the real reel, see what they do with that. But I thought that was super interesting. Okay. This is something I typically wouldn't pick up. This The brand Wooly Threads. I'm not sure what this is. But this is a college sweatshirt. So Ohio State. And um, I feel like these will sell really well right now as people are accepting their college acceptance letters. They're, you know, picking their college and looking for merch. just feel like it's a good time to list that stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll list that for $25. Okay, this is Meadow Rue, size small. Um, Meadow Rue is sold at Anthropology, and this is a little really cute peplum top. It is like a teal turquoise color with this um, little, what is that called? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this called? Uh, you know, whatever. I will find out. But it has like um, really cute little buttons on the back, and I just thought this was a sweet little blouse. 
Um, I'm going to list that for 24, I think. Okay, this is a Victoria's Secret bra size large. And I think I found two of these in different colors. And I'm going to see if they're the same size. If they are, I will lot them up. Um, those sell really good for me. And they're really, really lightweight. Okay, next are... I'm trying to get my dog all settled but she will not settle um okay these are a pair of nike size xl uh jogger soap pants and i think these are men's and they are like a cargo style um with like the pockets on the side um these are great they can sell for like 35 for me on poshmark and so i will continue to pick those up Anything Nike, really, if it's substantial, sells pretty good. It gets a good amount of attention. Um, okay, this is a new brand to me. It's called Carrots, K-E-R-R-I-T-S, size medium. And these are, um, like, horseback riding pants. Yeah, I actually feel like maybe I've heard of it, actually, but I've never found it. Um, and they have, like, grips here um if you guys know anything about this brand or any keywords i should use i would really appreciate it i don't know anything about horseback riding really um and if you find out these aren't actually or if you know these aren't actually horseback riding pants also let me know um i just looked up comps and they were pretty good so how to grab that okay these are a pair of tora jeans um these are size 18r which is great. Um, these are the jegging style. Um, literally just a classic jegging blue dark wash. Love finding Tora jeans. They sell consistently for about $28. Um, okay. These are a brand that is like really bread and butter for me. Very like $15. Um, it's called Can Can. And they have heavy distressing on the front with like a raw hem and the back pocket has like a really cute little patch thing. I don't know if that's actually really intentional. I think it might be, but um, they typically have a style name in them or style number. Um, these are size 29. So yeah, I will list them for 20, but usually I can sell them for about 15. They're not like super expensive retail. So, um, okay. This is a really, really beautiful wool jacket by Scotch and Soda. Um, this is a size small and this is their Fantasique line. I don't know anything about that, but it's really cute. And it has like a leopard lining. This color is just so pretty. I don't know if you can see, um, it's getting washed out, but so beautiful. Um, this jacket, I don't know comps on this. I will have to look that up. Like I said, I'm pulling things out of the bag um, from the last place they were was the bins. I haven't gone through this stuff since. So um, I haven't looked up comps really unless I looked them up at the bins. But yeah. Okay. What is this again? Oh, yeah. This is a three people size medium. That tag is like a little discolored but this is like a beautiful wool cardigan with buttons and a hood and it has a belt I think that's cute it does need a little bit of sweater shaving and yeah can you see that there's some pilling um nothing terrible uh I think a lot of it comes off if you just kind of pull at it but um if I can't get it, most of it off I will just note that and I think it'll still sell. So, yeah. All right. This is Lululemon, but it does have a flaw. Um, this is a size 8. So, it still has the pull tag, which is great. Size 8. Um, and this is like a little hoodie. Hold on. It's inside out a little bit. Or the sleeve is inside out. <laughs> this is a gray, light gray hoodie. Um, and I saw someone throw it back and I just kind of snatched it. Um, where's the flaw? Oh, yeah. It has a stain. I don't know if you can see that. 
Uh, yeah, I think that shows up. There's like a stain. I think I'm just going to try washing it, see if it comes out. But I definitely can still list it and note the flaw. Okay, so the next item, which is I was actually excited to find, and it has no holes, <laughs> is this Eileen Fisher size large, like, jacket cardigan thing. It is like a really deep orange red color with like that seam kind of look. It's in really, really good condition. Like I was so surprised. 100% um, wool, size large, like I said. Yeah, no holes, OMG. I was like, what? I think I'm gonna list that for 60. Um, okay. This is a Prana size medium cardigan sweater. Um, I was surprised to see this was Prana. This is 30% wool. Um, I just haven't found a lot of Prana like sweaters, but this is a really cute sweater. It's like a cardigan with different color knit in it. Um, I think that'll do okay. All right, next is this pair of Nike joggers. Again, like I said, I like picking up joggers and stuff from Nike, size large. Um, they're like a really cute taupe mauve, I'm not taupe, I don't know, taupe mauve Nike Air jogger and it says it on the back too. Really cute. Um, and Nike does have a style number in them, so I'm gonna look that up. Okay, this is just the brand. Actually, the brand is Led Zeppelin. And it's like a really nice, it's definitely not vintage or anything, but it's just a cool band tee. These sell super well for like the $25 range. Okay. Next, this brand Cutloose, size large. This is a lag and look brand. Um, and it is a 100% linen. Oh, she's squeaking. Um, and it's like a green, olive green color skirt. Really nice. Um, definitely use the word, like the keyword lag and look or art to wear type of stuff in your listings with like things like that. Um, it definitely brings more attention to your closet or to your listing. Okay, this is a Torrid size 1X plaid baby doll, like long tunic top. It's really cute. I'm going to take her outside in a second, but, um, this is size one X. I think I'm going to list this for about 25. Um, it has like, as you can see, it's like really cute. <laughs> okay. The next item is another torrid piece. This is a size two X. Um, and this is like a really cute, like anorak. Is that the word? Little jacket. Hard to show kind of when, <laughs> But it has like a uh, cinch waist. So um, I actually have this exact style from Torrid in like a pink color, pink cream color. Hasn't sold yet, but <laughs> I feel like maybe the green is more classic and it might still sell for a little bit better. We will see on that though. I do actually have some shoes in here that I'm gonna um, show, but I'll show that at the end. Um, Okay, this is a Wilfred Free size medium, and that is um, an Aritzia brand. So this is just a open, well, let's get those sleeves all normal, um, open uh, knit cardigan with a pocket on the front. Classic style. This is just rayon polyester and spandex, so nothing like crazy with the um, fabric content but it's black it's classic and I think someone will need that it's definitely like a closet staple okay this is inside out again um, I did hit like a really good bin and I found um, a lot of good stuff in it which most of the free people was in that I already showed um, this is made well this was also in that bin size medium you can tell it has like a tag that was attached. So maybe this is new without tags. It's definitely in like excellent condition. Nothing wrong with it. No real pilling at all. And 
this neckline is so thick it's like a rolled <laughs> it's really cool actually but anyways this sweater is really cute I'm gonna list it for about 30 okay this is just I was hoping this would be Patagonia but it's not it's actually just J Crew size large but um I really liked the style with like the snap neckline and J Crew sells really well for me as I've mentioned um and this teddy style is great the colors are really cute this is just adorable hopefully I can find a stock photo um I mean if not that's okay I will still just photograph that and get that listed I just thought that was cute um Okay, this was kind of surprising to me. So I found this sweatshirt and it has, it's definitely very oversized zip front and it has like pockets like that. And I was like, oh, it's probably just nothing. But it actually is um, Eileen Fisher. Um, and this is a size 2X. I was just like surprised just because I don't know. I feel like I haven't found a lot of stuff like this from Eileen Fisher. I'm going to zip this up and then show. Um, there's definitely flaws, which I'm going to show, but I had to get it um, because of the style, because of the size. So cute hoodie, um, but the flaws, there is some spotting on the front. I don't know if that would come out in the wash. I can try. Yeah, I think I'm going to wash that and see what happens. Um, if not, I'm just going to list it a little bit lower, see what happens. But, um, yeah. Okay. This actually showed in the little portion where I was at the bins. Um, <laughs> this is Love Stitch, and this is a size small. I don't pick up this brand. Um, typically, I've picked it up a couple times, but not typically. But I picked this up based on style. It has a these two things on the front that you can tie. So I'm going to do that and see what it looks like. Um, really, really cute top. Um, I had to get this based on style, so I'm just gonna list it for like 22. See what happens. Um, here's another pair of riding pants. This is the brand. Um, where was it? I saw it. N O R or H Horse, but with a Z. Can't really see it very well. Um, I did look this up and comps were like $30. So I think these are also riding pants. I'm not totally sure. Um, I'll definitely have to do more research on a lot of this stuff before I list it. But yeah, <laughs> I, want, I want to try out new stuff. And I just thought Bins is a great place for that. So this is Athleta, size small. Um, these are just some leggings. And I've actually sold this exact style before. They have like this cross on the... Um, little the cut the ankle part that's what that's the word I'm looking for um so yeah okay where I'm trying to get all the clothes out and then I'm going to show you the shoes okay the next item is this CP shades um and this is a size medium so CP Shades is a really good brand sold in, or it's made in San Francisco. I'm not totally sure where it's sold, but this is a really cute maxi skirt. And I did come across a lot of CP Shades, which I will show in my next haul because I have more stuff in my car and I guess it got separated. But, um, you know, that brand is really good. It sells great on eBay, I find. But Poshmark is good too. Okay, I'm gonna get into the shoes. Um, today was a good shoes day for me. Um, so let's just get into it. So the first pair are these. They're actually kind of in rough condition, but I still got them. So these are Eileen Fisher, and they're like a leather shoe. They look like this. Um, I wanted to show you the wear. So there is some scuffing here. The toe beds are a little dirty. Um, and the soles are a little dirty. But they're actually not in terrible condition. And these are a size 10. 
I love selling Eileen Fisher shoes and these are super cute. So grabbed those and then and then the next are another pair of good shoes. These are Vince. Let me show that. Vince. Um, and these are an espadrille, like, leather shoe. I, I thought this, this style was so interesting. Um, it's really cute. And there is some wear right here. But these are size 7. And they're really cute. Otherwise, they're in good condition. I will just note that. Um, yeah. And price accordingly. All right. The next thing I found was actually kind of exciting. I was like surprised nobody else picked these up, but these are Sorel. Um, and this style is really cute. It's like a boot with that, I don't know, layered look, I guess you could call it. Um, these are a size US 4. How does that work? These are not a 4. Huh, they might be, I guess men's maybe that's surprising um well anyways i'll have to figure out the size on that but um these are really cute and sorel boots sell super well so i was happy to find that okay these are a pair of j crew another espadrille style um little shoe i love selling j crew shoes they sell really well these are size 10, and I swear these are in, like, new condition. No real wear on the bottoms either. So cute. I will list these for about $30 to $32. Let's see what happens. All right. Next are another um, shoe that I love to sell. This is the brand called Camper. Um, and these are really lightweight, like so light. And they're like a leather boot. I feel like these might be men's. Not totally sure. They're size 10. Um, yeah, I like selling this brand. It sells really good. So the next pair are another pair of Eileen Fisher shoes. And these are like a booty style gray taupe. And there's Eileen Fisher. And this is a size, I don't know, seven and a half. Yeah, these are really cute though. I was excited to find that. And then, okay, I picked these up based on style and because they're so lightweight. These are um, some like, they're called like jelly shoes, I think. And they're really weird. But they are actually Topshop, which is not a terrible brand to resell. Um, they're size 5, which is kind of small, but um, <laughs> they're really weird and they're kind of cute. So I had to give that a try. And then the last shoe that I got are these Blundstones. So Blundstone, I've mentioned before, you can get them in terrible condition like this and still resell them for like over $40. Um, yeah, these are size four and a half. I feel like they might be men's again. I'm not totally sure. The condition is just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with like the actual construction of the shoe, but the outer leather is just super worn. So yeah, that's absolutely everything um, from this haul. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Um, I have some exciting videos coming out soon, um, more bins hauls, but more thrift with me's. I've actually never done that before. So yeah, stay tuned. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!